hello hi dear students welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss some integration problem which is belongs to exercise 6c question number 16 one of the students uh, requested uh, answer for this question so we are going to discuss now so evaluate integral e power x into log of e power 2x plus 5 e power x plus 6 into dx First, what we have to do, the given integral, integral e power x into log of e power 2x can be written as e power x whole square plus 5 into e power x plus 6 into dx. After writing of this step, put e power x is equal to t. So, differentiate with respect to x, e power x derivative is e power x, d t derivative with respect to x is dt by dx. So, cross multiplying dx is equal to dt. So, in the given integral, in place of e power x into dx, you have to replace with dt. The above integral will becomes integral log of t square plus 5t plus 6 into dt. So, t square plus 5t plus 6, we have the factors. t square plus 5t, consider t square plus 5t plus 6. We can write it as t square plus 5t plus, sorry, 3t plus 2t plus 6. So, from these two t take common, from these two 2 take common, t into t plus 3 plus 2 into t plus 3. So, we can write it as t square plus 5t plus 6 can be written as t plus 2 into t plus 3. So, now this given integral will becomes integral e power x into log of e power 2x plus 5 e power x plus 6 into dx can be written as integral log of t plus 2 into t plus 3 into dt log a b log a plus log b so integral log of t plus 2 dt directly I am splitting plus integral log of t plus 3 into dt. So, this I am considering as, this you can consider as equation number 1. This is equal to i1 plus this is equal to i2. Separately, you have to consider now consider i1 i1 is equal to integral log of t plus 2 into dt. We know that how to integrate integral log x. So now, whenever only log function is there into 1, you can take by using integration by parts. Log of t plus 2 into 1 into dt by using eyelid formula. This is f of t, 1 is g of t. So by using integration by parts, we get i1 is equal to f of t into that means log of t plus 2 into integral g of t integral 1 into dt minus integral f dash of t log of t plus 2 derivative is 1 by t plus 2 again t plus 2 derivative is 1 into integral dt whole dt after this step log of t plus 2 integral dt is t minus integral integral dt is t t by t plus 2 into dt from this step what we have to do is adding plus 2 subtracting minus 2 for this term for this integration i1 equal to 
log of t plus 2 into t minus we are adding and subtracting plus 2 minus 2 divided by t plus 2 into dt now splitting into terms t into log of t plus 2 minus integral t plus 2 divided by t plus 2 into dt minus into minus is plus 2 constant you can take outside 1 by t plus 2 into dt so these two will be cancelled t into log of t plus 2 minus integral dt plus 2 into integral 1 by t means log mod t na? log of t plus 2 plus c1 so which is equal to t into log of t plus 2 minus integral dt is t plus 2 into log of t plus 2 plus c so from first term and third term you can take common log log of t plus 2 if we take out common you will get t plus 2 minus t plus c this is i1 that is also at last we will substitute wherever t is the e power x you put as equation number 2 similarly i2 consider i2 equal to integral log of t plus 3 into dt wherever t plus 2 is there t plus 3 will come answer there is no change at all but you have to remember dear students so still we will do that log of t plus 3 into 1 into dt this is f of t this is z of t again by using integration by parts by using integration by parts by using integration by parts i2 equal to f of t that means log of t plus 3 into integral g of t integral dt minus integral f dash of t log of t plus 3 derivative is 1 by t plus 3 into integral dt whole dt so which is equal to log of t plus 3 integral dt is t minus integral integral dt is t t by t plus 3 into dt here we are adding and subtracting plus 3 and minus 3 to get the denominator form so log of t plus 3 into t minus integral t plus 3 minus 3 divided by t plus 3 into dt now split into integrals so t into log of t plus 3 minus integral t plus 3 divided by t plus 3 into dt minus into minus is plus 3 constant you can take outside remaining is 1 by t plus 3 into dt after reaching of this step t into log of t plus 3 minus these two will be cancelled integral dt plus 3 into integral 1 by t plus 3 is log mod t so log mod t plus 3 plus c2 so i2 equal to t into log of t plus 3 minus integral dt is t plus 3 into log of t plus 3 plus c2 from first term and third term take common log of t plus 3 so t plus 3 is the multiple minus t plus c2 so i2 equation number 3 now equation 2 and equation 3 equation 2 and equation 3 substitute in equation 1 that is integral e power x into log of e power 2x plus 5 into e power x plus 6 into dx equal to i1 plus i2 so i1 value we got it as log of t plus 2 into t plus 2 minus t plus c1 this is the value of i1 
i2 value log of wherever t plus 2 is the t plus 3 you have to write that only t plus 3 into t plus 3 minus t plus c2 so now log of t plus 2 into t plus 2 plus log of t plus 3 into t plus 3 minus t minus t minus 2t plus c1 plus c2 we can take as capital C since I am taking c1 plus c2 as capital C observe carefully so now wherever t is there you have to replace with e power x since e power x is equal to t log of e power x plus 2 into e power x plus 2 plus log of e power x plus 3 into e power x plus 3 minus 2 e power x plus c. This is the required answer. Integral e power x into log of e power 2x plus 5 e power x plus 6 into dx. do this type of problems dear students evaluate this type of questions which are important for competitive exams also not only the boards integral e power x into x plus 2 by x plus 3 whole square into dx first what you have to do x plus 2 is the it is in the numerator x plus 3 in the denominator x plus 2 the numerator value in terms of denominator you have to write it so we can write it as integral e power x into x plus 2 in terms of x plus 3 means can we write like this x plus 3 minus 1 divided by x plus 3 whole square into dx after the split into terms integral e power x into x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 whole square minus 1 by x plus 3 whole square into dx. So here one of the x plus 3 value will be cancelled. So it will becomes integral e power x into 1 by x plus 3. Here what I am writing is in place of minus plus I am writing and minus. Meaning cannot be changed we are making it to that form. 1 minus 1 by 3 1 by x plus 3 whole square into dx. Now in these this is f of x this is f dash of x. Here f of x is equal to 1 by x plus 3. We know that the derivative of f of x is equal to 1 by x is uh, whose derivative is minus 1 by x square. So minus 1 by x plus 3 whole square. Now it is in the form of therefore it will become uh, integral e power x into f of x plus f dash of x into dx only now. We have formula integral e power x into f of x plus f, uh, f dash of x dx is e power x into f of x plus c. So what is f of x here? So, e power x into 1 by x plus 3 plus c. So, therefore, integral e power x into x plus 2 divided by x plus 3 whole square into dx is equal to e power x divided by x plus 3 plus c. Thank you dear students for watching my channel. Please do subscribe and share with your friends and relatives. If you have any doubts regarding this, you can write to my comment box. I will respond. Thank you all. Thank you all. Signing off. Maths with Manindra.